Hey everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to the channel and my craft table. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Thank you if you're new for spending your time with me. I am so glad to meet you as well. So we are going to do another round of fall crafts and this time pretty much everything I'm doing today is iron-on. So I've got some uh, iron-on vinyl, I've got some iron-on printable vinyl, and I'm very excited to bring these crafts to the channel. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, if you are ready to get into the fall spirit of things, go ahead and hit that like button and put a little leaf emoji down in the comments and let's go ahead and get crafting. For my first craft today, I'm going to be trying out one of these sublimation kitchen towels from Hobby Lobby. Now, first of all, I really like the price point. They're only $1.49 and it is a pretty substantial size. So it's basically um, almost 18 inches by 28 inches. This particular towel is made out of 100% polyester, which is the higher the polyester count, the better the sublimation. You machine wash it in cold, you don't bleach it, you can iron it and tumble dry it low. And so let's go ahead and get started with this project. I'm gonna snip off the little tag. I think I just wanna go and buy like a crate of these. I can think of all kinds of gifts and whatnot these would make. Now I think when I press it, I'm actually gonna have to open it up like this, which is totally fine. But what I like is currently there are, it's already you know folded and pressed into thirds, which is gonna make this great for placement. Now let's talk about the design that we're using today. Um, I am super excited about this design because this particular design is my favorite black glitter um, and he, iron on vinyl and I'll link this in the description below this stuff I think I could just I, I probably could just make a dress out of this I love this stuff so much it is just gorgeous and then this design was printed on my inkjet printer it is the Cricut brand printable vinyl uh, iron on vinyl and it is for light colors they have two kinds they have one for dark colors one for light colors and so this is a really sweet pumpkin design that I found. Um, I think I found these on design bundles. I'll link it below for you. So I'm gonna link this down in the description for you. This is not a Cricut Design Space image. And then of course the materials and everything else. And this is a Cricut Design Space image. This is just a little script. In fact, um, I really want to save as much of this. This is like literally my last piece. So here, let me fold this so I can just kind of see where the where the image is. There we go. So sometimes I don't know about you, but with the glitter, um, especially especially with glitter, I have a hard time seeing where things are. So I will fold the vinyl, kind of like when I'm doing my infusible ink products or projects, and I try and like find where the cut lines are. That allows me to cut away any real estate. This is still a pretty nice size sliver, even though I'm gonna put this on my um, shopping list today. I'm ordering some more fall things. So I will add that to it because this is my favorite. And then I am just going to grab the corner there and I'm going to pull off all of the stuff I don't want. This particular SVG, or not SVG, this particular font is actually an SVG and this is from Design Space and it just says Hello Fall and it is a really sweet scripty font looks like somebody's handwriting now when you're weeding your iron on it's really good to make sure that you keep track of all the little pieces so that you can sweep them away 
and keep them away from your carrier sheet because once your, as you know, once your iron-on gets um, pressed, there is um, there's no removing it. I tr I don't know. Don't you know? Don't ask me how I know this. Well, actually, I've done it several times. So. Something that you can do, just a little thing, is you can just take your lint roller and go like that and be able to get rid of those little pieces super fast. I'm using my husband's lint roller today. I don't like this one. I think I'm gonna have to get a really nice one. I, it's in my Amazon cart. I just really need to hit purchase, right? Because they allow you to pick up all that extra stuff that we don't want. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Okay, so here is our little scripty font, and it will go down under here. Isn't that just sweet? So I'll set that aside, and then this. Gonna, now, let's talk about this printable iron-on. Okay, first of all, it's really, really thin. It's almost like a, like a little membrane for lack of a better word, I know that's a very sciencey word, but you know, the teacher, pardon me. It's like a little membrane and it is super, super thin. It will stretch if you're not real careful. And when you go, when you print it out, these black registration marks, just like on any of your other print and cut projects, make sure that you leave those on and don't cut those off. But this, those registration marks allow the Cricut to know where to cut. Let's see, I think I have a couple of tiny little middle pieces, which I could just leave them on there. It's all white. My first um, experience with this was this summer when I made a 4th of July t-shirt for my daughter with the printable iron-on, and I absolutely love it. It is super fun. Okay, so really there isn't, what I did is in Design Space, I imported this little pumpkin in, I did an offset, changed the offset color to white, I selected both of these images, and then I clicked flatten, and that way it was one image when it did the print and cut. And that prevented me from having to weed out all these little bitty tiny things here. I didn't want to go there. so. Here is this. Now I'm going to leave this on this carrier sheet until we are ready, but basically I will be peeling this up very gently, trying not to stretch and, you know, stretch the design out of proportion. All right, I'm going to set this aside and this. Let's bring in everything to press this. Okay, so I have my, my mat here. I've already got my easy press two is heated and ready to go. Okay, so now I'm going to take advantage of these commercial press lines. I could fold it in half. Actually, I'm thinking I might want to do this. Press it and it will help prepare the surface for the iron on. So get all the, the moisture and everything out, get it heated, ready to go. And then I can center my design on that center center press line. So yeah, I think that might be probably the better route to go. I'm gonna bring in my Easy Press 2 and I am just pressing the surface there for a second. Okay, and now I'm gonna press a center seam. So just folding it in half and pressing it to get a nice center seam. And then since I handled it some more, I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll it one more time. Make sure we have all of those things on there. Okay, so let's just kind of dry fit this. Let's see. So my pumpkin will be about here and that will go there. Now, something else we can do is we can basically take our design and fold it to where it matches up and then just crease the carrier sheet. Okay, and then that carrier sheet right there where it is pressed on that line, 
that line will line up with my center. Okay, so let's do some creative cutting because I think I want to try and press this all at one time. So the Hello Fall is ready and then I'm going to carefully, there we go, get to carefully peel away and I'm just kind of going at an angle and I'm going slowly and I'm just peeling this up. I'm trying not to stretch anything out of proportion, so just very gently. So I think the pumpkin is in a really good place. And then I'm going to place the Hello Fall. And again, I'm putting that crease that I made right here on the crease. And now I'm just going to see if I like, like, is it even, so to speak? Okay, I think that looks fantastic. So this is basically going, to, I, I lucked out because this is going to be 315 degrees for 30 seconds. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with my Teflon sheet because I don't want to have the heat source directly applied to that printable vinyl. Okay. Almost done, and then we're going to check and make sure that the, um, I'm going to check and make sure that the, uh, the glitter glitter is good okay. and I'm just going to remove my pressing mat because this is um, the pressing mat is designed to hold in the heat and I want this to cool down okay so the iron-on vinyl this printable I mean this is this is a gorgeous it laid down perfectly it adhered perfectly this is fantastic okay so I'm just gonna let this and I'm pretty well I say I'm pretty sure let's check the glitter oh beautiful okay now this laid and I'm just running my finger over it to see if there's any spots that aren't adhered down but what I am going to do is I am going to bring the mat back in I'm going to turn this over and I'm just going to do this press it for like oh five ish seconds just to give it a shot of heat for about five seconds this is what I do with all of my t-shirts. And I find that it just, I don't know, it, for me, it seems to work for me. I, I have yet to have anything, you know, not stand up to the washing and, you know, a quick spin in the dryer for a few minutes. And then, you know, sometimes I hang dry everything but then I'll just turn it inside out. But this is our towel and it looks so good. So now I just have to, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna put some police caution tape or something on it so that the family doesn't use it. But there we go, sweet little kitchen towel. And this is a really big size towel, so all right. There is craft number one, and let's go on to our second one. The second craft of the day is a little sweatshirt. Well, I say a sweatshirt. It's more like a really thin sweater, kind of like a sweatshirt, but not really. It's one of those really, it's kind of fleecy, but it's, it's constructed like a sweater, but it has the feel of a sweatshirt. That's what I'm trying to say. And I have it is it is really become just way too way too big so i really don't wear it outside of the house but i love to wear it around the home for a lounge shirt 
and it's just like a creamy white and I love it but it is so plain and so what I thought I would do is I have this um, beautiful pattern vinyl and I, I can link this for you too and this it's not I don't know to me this is a, a universal pattern you could use this year-round wouldn't matter the holiday and I decided to use this um, with a pumpkin and I'll link the pumpkin the pumpkin was not from design space so I will link that for you but it is just a sweet simple it's just a simple pumpkin and I thought that this pattern vinyl that I think is just gorgeous but I I've kind of struggled with you know what to put it on because it just is so pretty and it needs the right kind of shape etc so and look at that it just weeps like butter it's so soft and smooth and pretty but this is the design and I thought that this would look really really nice on that shirt okay so we're going to be pressing this for uh, 30 seconds again at 315 lucky me all of my projects require the same heat so I am going to take my mat and I'm actually going to fit it inside of my shirt so this has been loved worn washed dried etc and i've tried to make sure all the little little fuzzy things are off of it but again this particular shirt is just for me and quite frankly it's just it's so big i don't i don't wear it outside anymore um just because the shirt has just gotten too big but I love it. I just can't get rid of it. It's just, it's just nice. I think I've got this situated on my mat and I'm able to still see the side seams so that I can measure and just make sure it's not grossly out of place. Okay. So I'm pretty much just going to put this where it looks good to my eye. So just like that. Actually, it looks so good, actually. Okay. So it's about seven and a half. And that'll be, oh, good. That's about even right smack in the middle. I think that's plenty from the top neckline. So again, we're gonna press this for 30 seconds. Let me know down in the comments if you have made any fall or Halloween themed shirts for this season. I've got a fun Halloween shirt that I have in mind. I just need to go shopping. And I really want to do a couple more fall themed shirts. I'm super excited about all of the designs I'm finding. So now I'm going to remove the mat. Ooh, that mat is so hot. And I'm just going to turn it over and let the heat come out. Okay. All right. So before I peel that up, I'm going to do one more shot of heat. I always like that extra shot. It just seems to really help everything stay the way I want it. Okay, we're just gonna let this sit here for a minute. And you can just feel the heat coming out of that fabric. This is, this is my well-loved um, little, like a real thin fleecy sweater and it just needed some, it just needed something because I pretty much just wear it around the house now anyway. 
but okay I'm just going to pull this up and hopefully I don't have to do any more pressing hopefully everything is going to stay down okay I think up here it needs just a tiny spot but all of these other edges seem to do really well it's just right up here so I'll just throw that mat under there and I'll just bring in my Teflon sheet and we'll just we'll hit that top portion more than anything cover up that pretty vinyl okay wow that did so much better just giving that top piece just a little bit more heat not very much but this particular piece of vinyl is so buttery smooth and it's just it's so pretty you know and it's it's floral but it's not like I don't know I I'm just so happy I could wear warm wintry clothes that look so pretty all right this is craft number two let's move on to our third and final craft so our third and final craft of today is this banner now I stumbled across this banner I was looking in the wood section of Hobby Lobby and I was mainly getting some stuff so that I could make um, a, a little round that has a name for our daughter who's having um, her second baby here in a couple of weeks so I made a wood round with the name and then the little monthly milestones so I was in the wood section needed to take care of all of that and then I just I was getting ready to leave and I just happened to see this. Guys, this is normally $8.49, and I got this on reduced for $2.12. So I never luck out, ever. And mainly, I guess it's just because I don't go enough. You know, I'm always teaching school, so there's that. But um, I went ahead, and they had two of them, so I went ahead and picked them up. So I'm going to do one for fall and then I thought it would be it would be good to do one for Halloween. So that will be coming soon. But this, I'm just so excited about this little banner. So it's got this double wood piece here, okay? And then the banner is in between and then it's got the little eye the little eye screws and some jute string for hanging and this was just a steal again $8.49 regular price purchased it for $2.12 so this is basically 75% off and I'll tell you I get a huge discount at Michael's with my teacher discount and I always have a lot of coupons and things with their rewards program but Hobby Lobby, they have some serious, serious reductions. Okay, so this is just another printable vinyl. And um, this did not come out of Design Space either. I will link this SVG down in the description for you. And so I basically did the same thing as the pumpkin, um, the flannels, hay rides, the words, the way they are, are that was the SVG. <clears throat> and then I did an offset and I'm pretty sure, cause I had to mess with this quite a bit. I did uh, either 0.45 or I did uh, 0.5, I can't, I can't remember I'll try I'll link it down in the I'll, I'll write it down in the description and if I forget to write it in the description then just um, put a question in the comment for me and I will I will pop that in there but um, basically I did an offset so that I would only have to do one um, one image so we printed out, we cut it out, and again, you saw those registration marks that I left on there, 
and then I'm only weeding the perimeter and some big chunky places in between. So, but I thought this would look really cute on one of those little banners. I'm just pulling off this, you know, this space carefully because I don't want to unnecessarily pull something off that needs to stay. There are some little pieces that I do need to weed out, these kind of these little middles. So back to our question earlier, you know, have you started, um, you know, do you have some fall or Halloween shirt designs that you have in mind? Have In fact, have you started decorating for fall or fall or Halloween? My daughter loves to pick on me, the, the youngest one, the baby who's still at home. So she's turning 13 and she is like, mom, you're like those moms on Instagram on these memes, you know, where they're like going crazy with their holiday decorating. And, and I'm like, uh, no, I'm really not. We don't have, we live kind of tiny. So, you know, we live in a really small space, so I can't be, I can't be too crazy. I have to take some things to my classroom. So some of my crafting goes to the classroom. Some of it goes to friends and family. Some of it goes here, but you know, you have to store all that. So I don't, I don't have a big space. So I do try to not go overboard. Well, I say that maybe I do go overboard. Maybe she's calling me out and I just don't want to admit it. I don't know. What do you, um, for those of you that are decorating for the holidays already, what are your favorite things to create? Do you like to create things you can wear? Do you like to create, um, like where you just do fall and you don't necessarily do Halloween or like I do fall and Halloween, but I, I'm a little more selective with Thanksgiving because I like to be able to have it out for longer. And if it's just Thanksgiving, then I can't put it up as early. Okay, I hope that I got all of these pieces. And if not, we will find that out when I go to take all of this up off this carrier sheet. I think I got it all. Okay, so I'm going to bring back in the banner. Okay. And for the banner, I just measured, you know, I it kind of ignored this part down here, and I just have that space there. So just kind of the top part. All right, got that lint rolled. Okay, so got my heat press ready to go. And I again, I just need, I need to just gently pull away the design from the carrier sheet. I think with the printable stuff, it really is six of one, like whether you do it from the front or you turn it over. I think it's easier, just so you know, I think it's easier if you leave it face up, but this isn't bad. So experiment with both ways and then continue on, do what works best for you and your particular craft. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. And then Here's my design. So I'm so glad I did the offset. Can you imagine having all of that weeded super tiny? Okay. Well, I think the color is good. 
like I'm hoping that the color doesn't change too much which once I press it now that I got it on here I do need to center this so let's kind of figure out well that's at two and that is at one and three quarters so I need to shift it a little bit to the left oh I already see where I didn't weed something. Do you see what I see? I can tell that I missed something. Okay, before I forget, let's see. This little piece right here needs to come up. Okay, got that one. And then this piece, I can't believe I've missed this huge section. <laughs> all right here so all right i think i got i think i got the weeding all done so now i've got to do this placement back i think sweaters is supposed to be kind of arched a little bit So now let's check our placement. I'm sure it's off. Oh yeah, look at that. That's two and a quarter. Let me play with this and get this centered the way I need it. Okay, I think that is about as centered as I am probably going to get. I've got approximately one and three quarters on each side. And then from the wood to the F and the wood to the S, is approximately two and a quarter. Um, I still feel, I feel like this side is lower, but it could just be my eye. So let me double check that one. I, I'm good with the side placement, but I really don't want it to be cattywampus coming from the top. So that is two and a quarter. And so is that. So it looks good. It must just be my eye. And yes. I'm going to carefully lay my Teflon sheet over that. I think that'll help me be able to press down in place where things need to go. So here we go. 315 for 30 seconds and some firm pressure. Okay, I'm going to lift this up and oh, that tiny little, there's like a tiny little wrinkle. I'm wondering if I can just smush that down or smooth that out a little bit. Okay, I don't think really and truly, I don't think that anyone will notice that. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit here for just a second and then I'm going to turn it over and do a back press but it did lay down nicely except we, I got one tiny little wrinkle right here but I don't know that I could have avoided that. Other than that this is perfect and you know the offset is a great color. It, really didn't get any darker at all that I can tell and it's it's ever so slightly darker than the banner so it was a good choice that's already cool let's go ahead and let's just hit it for a few seconds a little more heat that I'm gonna get that wrinkle out but I think that came out great that is super fun I'm so excited about that I love that okay let me grab all of the things that were created today so we can do a little showcase and check out which one might be our favorite okay these are the crafts that were made today so our first craft was this 
uh, sublimation kitchen towel from Hobby Lobby. We had the black glitter script, Hello Fall. That is my favorite black glitter. And then I used the Cricut printable iron-on vinyl for light fabrics. And this is, so this is a design space uh, SVG. And I will just put the number down in the description for you. Now this was not design space, so I'll put a link to this design for you. And this just turned out great. So hopefully my family will heed my uh, stern warning not to, not to play with the pretty towels. So for cleaning and dishes, etc. So we have that. And then our second craft was to revive one of my favorite um, fleece sweatery type. It's not really a sweatshirt. It's not really a sweater. It's a plus sweater. <laughs> um, anyway, I took some beautiful pattern vinyl that I've been wanting to use forever. I will, um, and then this is an SVG. This is not from Design Space either. So I will link both of these down in the project description, but just a beautiful pumpkin, a nice way to um, just give new life to a beloved sweatshirt, uh, plus sweater that I absolutely love. And just, I just don't want to get rid of it. It still has so much life left. It just needed a little makeover. And then finally, our little clearance banner from Hobby Lobby. So again, it's got the little jute twine for the hanger with the, the little eye screws, the wood holding the banner itself, 100% polyester. Both of these are 100% polyester. The, the shirt was a blend. And then again, with our printable iron-on vinyl from Cricut. And this SVG is also not design space, but I will link that, of course. So looks really good, and um, I'm super excited about all of these. I cannot wait to put this in my kitchen, hang this up. I might, I'm trying to decide if I wanna hang this on my door or if I just wanna put it, you know, inside. And then this is definitely getting worn um, as soon as the temperature just drops a little bit more. It's very cold in the mornings and then it's like still hot in the afternoons. So um, this will probably have to wait a little bit longer unless I wear it around the house when my husband turns the AC way down. All right, well, that is the end of this particular crafting session. If you found this video fun, informative, helpful, and inspiring in any way, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, share it with your crafty friends. Let me know down in the comments if you've already started crafting for fall or Halloween, and if you have some wonderful shirt ideas that you are hoping to bring to life this season for your wardrobe. And finally, if you are not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber about, uh, my goal is to have about at least 50% of all viewers to be actual subscribers. Uh, I have a huge viewing, but of course not everybody is a subscriber at the time, which is totally fine, but that is my goal. So if you are not already a subscriber, if you could help me out and hit that subscribe button, that would be so fantastic and I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, well until I see you again in the next video, I want you to have a cozy, happy, fall season starting now. See you soon. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.